Hi everybody, welcome to the channel for a new battle report. This time a practice game against Jake from England. It was a pleasure to play against him. We talked quite a lot together about ID, so uh, it was about time that we play again together. Uh, he was playing ID and I was playing my Ogre Khan. My list, couple of small changes um, in comparison to the last game. Basically I took out the two giant, put another Tusker Cav unit put back uh, 18 inch BSB and basically increase magic. I wanted to try out Master Shamanism with Apprentice Pyro with a book. Basically that's the idea. Jake was fielding the following list. He had a Master Alchemy, another Pyro and a Vizier BSB, all three of them on foot. Then he had the Conjurer on Vassal Steed, Adept Witchcraft. So heavy magical setup, Adept, Adept Master, which is eight spell, three channels, so really good magic. Uh, he had two block in core, one unit of warrior with the bastion and one unit of citadel guard with pistol and spear, two unit of shackled slave, a uh, unit of 12 enforcers with great weapon blunderbuss, so a lot of shootings in, in these three. Uh, basically the three scoring unit can also shoot, which is interesting. Then he had a rocket battery uh, on the ground and the two shooty titan, one other rocket battery and a nafta throw in the list. We play randomly King of the Hill uh, with Refuse Flying deployment and below you have both player spell selection. What do I think about the matchup? So he has a shooty list with high damage output but it's quite short range which could be an issue early on in the game for him. I know that I'm playing on Khan so multi-wound shooting is not something I like and double rockets definitely very scary on paper at least. So I want to deal with the rocket as soon as possible. That's going to be my fr first priority. And also, if I if I have the opportunity, try to put some pressure on the witchcraft mage between totemic summon, swarm of insect, fireball. If I have line of sight, uh, I could have some tools to basically, yeah, uh, threaten him. No rush to start. Um, Obviously, we are playing King of the Hill, so there is no big need to start. And I felt I had the range advantage. Uh, keep in mind that in this matchup analysis, it's always I try to I write it down before the game, basically. Or if if not, I try to reflect my thought process before the game in this matchup analysis, not taking into account what happened in the game, which is always interesting to compare what was my understanding of the matchup before the game and at the end, uh, basically make another analysis to see what happened and what I should have done differently. Uh, willingness to choose my matchups, so basically which unit is facing which unit. Chaff watch, I know that the slave could be an issue, so I have to use my tribesmen, potentially dogs, or tusk as well to deal with the slaves. And I felt the matchup um, seems complicated due to multi wound shot, but to be honest, I never try to play against double rocket. I always feared it on paper and put some bad estimation, so I wanted to see if it was really the case. And I know that I have to be uh, basically careful about Nafta Horror. I played a couple of games ago, you should remember, against a tank that I had the opportunity to shoot in short range against my Desta. And basically I, lose like, I lost like four or five um, tribesmen or bruisers in the process. So I know that it, it can be very scary, especially with rand random uh, Raven Swing in his magical setup. Uh, deployment, so I don't know why, but I don't have a screenshot of deployment, but you see the triangle where he's starting position. He picked the, he won the roll for side, picked the hill and gave me the bottom. I picked the ruin as a trainer to defend and I decided to basically stick it to my original analysis and not adapt to the situation of the refuse flank. Basically, I told him you can start to deploy. Um, he put his Nafta Titan here, Blunderbuss here, the small mage here. He had here the Citadel Guard with BSB and General, I guess. Then he has another Mage in the Bastion that started here. Slave, Slave, Rocket Titan and the Rocket Battery in the back. And my counter deployment, so basically I put everything out of range of the Rocket Battery and I put my uh, Merc Vets in the Ruin uh, to get hardcover so he has no good shooting turn 1. So we have here Tribesman, Frosty, Merc Vets with the BSB, um, Tribesman, Tusker Pet Weapon, Dogs, Death Star with two mages and Great Khan, and the three Great Weapon Tusker. And basically my idea was I want to try to face him. Um, I see he has no chaff, so try to zone him with the Death Star, trying to get some advantage here by facing tribesmen, so slave with tribesmen, trying to get rid of the slave as soon as possible. 
uh, get rid of this Titan with rocket battery while within being within cover and then be able to push slowly um, and put pressure from the right flank. That was more or less the idea. We will see if it was the right plan or not to decide not to start. So his turn one, uh, I moved forward, which makes sense and uh, respected some charge range, but due to Infernal Brand, basically he can easily uh, hold the charge of the Tuscus with any three of these units. Uh, in Magic Phase, he did Quicksilver Lash, three wounds on this Tuscus that passed the, ma the um, panic check. Then he had um, a bit of luck with Twisted Effigy on four dice against my five dice on the Merc Vets on MR2. Um, and this went in. Um, I got a couple of dice back. He then attempted uh, Twisted Effigy on two dice, the big one on this one, and I didn't manage to dispel it. And he got that the nine plus that he needed on Twisted F on um, Raven's Wing to move this Titan to my flank, and this is going to be a huge issue. Shooting the two wounds to the Mugvet with a rocket battery and one wound to some Tuskers, I guess. My turn, so I was already in big trouble because now with the positioning of the Kalim Titan, I need to react and he's really close to me. And this is the NAFTA, so I know I'm in big trouble. I decided to use my Tuskers as a bait to see how he was going to react. Um, of nothing too interesting, but basically force him to engage in, in some way. Uh, I was a bit stuck. Basically, if I don't move the Tuskers, he can easily charge me next round. I cannot retreat because I deployed in a bad way and I'm blocked with the, the map, basically. So, yeah, I had a couple of troubles here at uh, bottom of the map, so I pushed my Tusker forward and prepared a couple of counter charges. I started to threaten slaves with tribesmen and put Mergvets a bit forward, but they are under twisted, twisted effigy. I didn't want to march due to ruin, so it's it's really annoying. In magic phase, I failed Totemic Summon and then break the spirit on something. I roll triple six, lose two wounds on the mage, which is annoying. So, yeah, nothing crazy on, on, on this first round. Um, let's move on to his turn two. He took a charge with Stadel Guard against the Tusker, and I felt the flea might be my best move, so I fled all the way here. He redirect onto the Tribesman on 9 or 10. I elected to flee as well because I was afraid if he managed to get it, I could be in big trouble. And then he pushes the slave forward to basically, um, yeah, slow me down, top of the map, more or less. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, I think that's more or less it. The rest didn't move this guy and move a bit forward with the, the other unit. And obviously uses the Titan to shield himself from a charge of my big unit uh, with the Tuskus in this position, which is uh, well done for him. Magic phase. He got Quicksilver Lash, did two wounds to this Tuskus. <coughs> Silver Spike on them did nothing, didn't wound. Then he failed hereditary. And with the shooting, Kalim Titan did five wounds to the Tuskers and the rocket just finishes the couple of wounds left, like one or two. And basically I have no Tusker anymore. So this one are just dead and this one are fleeing. So yeah, kind of complicated for me. Uh, I had a couple of panic check around, but uh, everything fine. My turn. So, um, yeah, I debated. I have charges on the 11. Obviously, good charges, but 11. If I fail, I'm in trouble. But um, yeah, this is a, a, a possibility. I have those guys to rally, obviously, here. I have this one that is outside of bubble where he could potentially flee. But then I will fail charge and get eaten by the Titan, which is not optimal. Um, this one is in the bubble, so... What I did is, basically, I didn't rally the Tuskers on 9, they fled off the board, which is a problem. I took two charges on the slaves and repositioned my units. In hindsight, I think I should have attempted the long charge, because the game is more or less already lost. And I think maybe my only chance is to get a long charge off, kill something, reform in the middle of his line and cause him trouble. I think uh, it was already kind of late. Um, to not do anything because now I'm facing four units that are just going to move forward and shoot me, but I didn't see it before. Uh, in the magic phase, uh, he dispelled Totemic Summon. I failed plus one resilience to protect my Death Star from shooting. Merc Vets did only one wound to the Titan. Um, I did some wound, he crumbled a bit, and that's it. His turn, he just moved forward to murder me with shooting. Didn't move much with the Titan, didn't need to, to be honest. He was still engaged. 
Magic Face, Magic Face, I dispel Raven's Ring. He got uh, with five dice, Bubble, Flaming Sword on everybody. And then basically, yeah, and after Tororo, I mean, Crazy Good did 12 wounds, so killed four bruises. Then I had only three bruises left and three character. And between all the shots from Blunder and these Blunders, he managed to kill everybody except the Great Khan and one Apprentice Shaman. And that's already the end of the game because uh, there is nothing I can do anymore. As you can see, um, this was going to be my turn, but there is nothing I can do. I can attempt to charge here, long overrun, but basically I'm I'm with desperate plans. I can charge those guys in here, but yeah, at some point I'm going to most likely lose them. Struggle to defend. Obviously, I can organize myself try to defend this secondary objective, but. It's not going to be easy and I'm relying on very lucky things uh, to happen. But if I don't, basically, that's yeah, that's already I'm going to lose this game no matter what. So didn't make sense since it's a practice game. Didn't make sense to continue and try to battle a couple of hours more. Try to see if I can save points or not. Uh, I saw what I needed to see. I identified all the mistakes I made and the, the way I approached the game was totally wrong. So, well done, Jake. Uh, you won this one without any discussion. Um, what can I say on the macro? A lot. I should have probably started this game. Being a diagonal, it's hard to minimize and I could have put pressure on him. Um, pushing the map turn one, get some charges quickly. I should have been way more aggressive <coughs> considering the range advantage that he had. Um, deploying in the, his strong zone is a strong part of the map with my bruiser and tusker was a mistake definitely once the nafta got into good position it was basically game over i felt i had a wrong macro wrong game plan um i didn't start which is second mistake and then the dice that happened between so mostly magic and then shooting turn two just make my defeat quicker, basically. Um, just made clear on turn three that I'm going to lose, no matter what. Which would have been slightly different, maybe, if I managed to rally the task. Because um, Dita got one shot my task in one phase and so on. But um, I think it, it's not... Um, it just makes things quicker. The mistakes were definitely mine. So nothing to, to complain about. Devastating range damage. And the matchup was harder than expected. Taking that into account, how should I have deployed... I think first of all not put unit that are not that mobile due to having more mobile it's 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 not single models meaning they would struggle on a tight area so I think here could have been a zone for example for the um, frost mammoth for example would have been fine here I felt my death star needed to be way more central I could have put Tusker on each flank try also to have uh, paired weapon Tusker on my strong flank to put more pressure maybe on him so I could have deployed in a better way, not being stuck on this part of the map and anticipating a bit better what he might do with fly move, put more distance between his strong flank here with the impassable uh, and my weak flank, basically. So I deploy a bit more to the top and try to get some advantage here as soon as possible, try to, to kill things and be able to, to push towards him. So definitely many mistakes in this game. Um, still interesting to analyze. I definitely didn't think long enough at the deployment when he won the roll for side. I should have taken a bit more time and think about, okay, uh, taking into account that, what do I want to do? Um, do I want to start or not? Think more carefully about that because not starting was already a big mistake, I felt. And then second point where I didn't think enough is with counter deployment. I basically focused on putting this rocket out of range okay fine but then i went into bad positioning and basically my deployment is so counterintuitive didn't work at all and then basically uh, jake managed to yeah get rid of the tusker quickly enough and then basically focus all the shooting on the death star in short range and that's the end against this much much shooting so that's all guys, uh, interesting game, that despite the big defeat, it's always uh, something to learn about. Um, yeah, definitely the matchup was a bit harder than expected, I had less uh, way to really zone him, and as soon as he's able to get in range, he could play on his strength, which is Infernal Brand, be able to get a charge for something, and then just have more threats than me on one part of the map where he was able to exploit, basically. 
So we have plenty of learnings for the next time. Uh, thanks, Jake, for the game, and talk to you soon on the channel. Bye, guys.